Action series where we'll be discussing T accounts. So the first thing we want to look at is the rules of debits and credits. So I have laid out the accounting equation here with T accounts or in the form of T accounts. And we're going to go through and discuss what makes assets go up, what makes liabilities go up, etc. So let's start with assets. Now, as we've discussed in a prior a part to this series, uh, the left side of a T account is always the debit, the right side is always the credit, no matter what type of account we're talking about. Also recall that assets is not an account, it's a category. Liabilities is not an account, it's a category. Owner's equity, not an account, it's a category of accounts. Okay, so keep that in mind. Assets go up with debits and go down with credits. So let's think about cash. Cash goes up with a debit and down with a credit. So a lot of times students have issues with, well, when I go to the bank, I get my deposit slip and it says they credited my account. But what you've got to recall is the bank is not keeping your personal books. The bank is keeping their books. So what they have credited is actually an account payable with your name on it. And an account payable is a liability. And liabilities go up with credits. So they're increasing their liability to you because you gave them money and they now owe you that money back. So you're, they're increasing their liability to you. That's why your deposit slip says credit, not debit. Because again, they're keeping their books, not yours and liabilities decrease with debits. Now over under, over under owner's equity, I have the accounts that affect owner's equity. Remember these accounts that I've got listed here, the ones in yellow, don't actually appear on the balance sheet with owner's equity. They affect owner's equity through net income. So, um, well, revenues and expenses through net income, and of course, dividends reflect, affects retained earnings. So, owner's equity will increase with credits and will decrease with debits. So, as expenses and dividends go up, that will decrease owner's equity. So, let's look at those two accounts here down at the bottom. So, recall that owner's equity goes up with credits and down with debits. So as expenses increase, that will decrease owner's equity. Therefore, expenses actually increase with debits. Dividends also increase with debits. And expenses and dividends both decrease with credits. So those are kind of like special accounts under, under owner's equity because debits Debit balances decrease owner's equity. And because expenses and dividends decrease owner's equity, those accounts increase with debits. So now let's look at an example of our T accounts. Cougar Cookie Company received $30,000 cash and issued common stock. What accounts are affected and how does this affect the accounting equation? So I'm going to give you the accounting equation, which I'm sure that you remember. But I'd like for you to press pause on your player right now and attempt to figure out what accounts are affected in the accounting equation and then how are these T accounts affected. So do that now and then come back and we'll talk about it together. Great. Okay, so it, the, the problem states that we received $30,000 in cash. So hopefully you discerned that assets are going up by 30000 because we're getting cash. So if we're getting cash, it's going up. And it says that we issued common stock. So common stock is increasing, which is under owner's equity. So if common stock is increasing, that will also increase owner's equity. So now we want to see how this affects the T accounts. So remember, assets as assets go up, that's a debit to that asset account. In this case, the asset account is cash. Remember, assets is not an account. We're talking about cash here. So we will 
debit the cash account for $30,000. Also, we see that common stock is going up. Common stock increases with credits. So we will credit the common stock side T account. Also at this point, it's important to remember that your debits must always equal your credits. This is that double entry bookkeeping, double entry accounting. So we look at our debits and we look at our credits. We have $30,000 in total debits and we have $30,000 in total credits. So we do balance. Our debits do equal our credits and we're happy with that. Let's look at another. Cougar Cookie Company paid dividends of $10,000. What accounts are affected and how does this affect the accounting equation? So once again, I'll give you the accounting equation and I would like for you to press pause on your player and come back when you're through and we'll talk about it together. Great. So this time it says we paid dividends of $10,000. So this time cash is not going up. Cash is actually going down by $10,000. So that decreases our total assets. Also you have to remember what does dividends affect. And we know that dividends affect retained earnings which are under owner's equity. So if we pay dividends, that reduces our owner's equity, or reduces our retained earnings, which reduces owner's equity. So it's a reduction of owner's equity. So we do balance. Our, our um, accounting equation balances here. One side went down 10000 the other side went down 10000 So what are the balances remaining in the open accounts? So I've carried forward our our balance from the prior problem and we had a, balance, uh, a debit balance in cash of 30000 and a credit balance of 30000 in common stock. Now cash is going down by $10,000. That's a credit. So remember assets decrease with credits. That leaves us a balance in our cash account of $20,000. Notice I put the balance on the debit side because my debits are higher than my credits. And the balance is debits minus the credits gives me an ending balance, that's what the E stands for there, of $20,000. Then it says I paid dividends. Now, when you pay dividends, that does decrease owner's equity because you're reducing your retained earnings. But you have to think, what's happening to my dividends account? The dividends account balance is actually increasing because you've paid more dividends. So the balance that you have paid out is actually increasing. And you have to remember that dividends increases with a debit. So now we have a debit balance in our dividends account of $10,000. Common stock in this problem was not affected. So we simply carry down our balance of $30,000. Now remember the final step. We have to make sure that all debits equal all credits. So cash has a debit balance of $20,000. Dividends has a debit balance of $10,000. That's a total of $30,000 debit balances. And common stock has a credit balance of $30,000. So debits of $30,000 equal my credits of $30,000. Now let's look at the normal balances of accounts. So the ones I have circled here, remember those are not actual names of accounts. Those are categories. So that's why I wanted to circle those so you remember those are not real accounts, those are categories. The normal balance is what makes the account increase. So assets increase with debits, so that's the normal balance. Liabilities increase with credits, so that's its normal balance. Common stock increases with credits, so that's its normal balance. Revenues increases with credits, normal balance is a credit balance. Expenses, debit balance. Retained earnings, a credit balance. Dividends, as we just saw, increases with debits, so it carries a normal debit balance.